Hi, and welcome to another installment of The Wonder Room, um, a place where we are learning about uh, the people and objects from all over the world. Um, today with us, we have Lori McKenzie Crane, who is the graphic designer and artist at Denison. So welcome, Lori. Thank you. So uh, what are you going to be sharing with us today? Um, this is the first piece of pottery I ever bought as a... Um, an individual. There was a lot of pottery in my house. Uh, my dad was a professor at the College of Worcester and he taught ceramics. So pottery occupied a large amount of space in our house as well as conversation. So he started the Functional Ceramic Show at the College of Worcester about 1967, maybe. I was in high school then <clears throat> and I saved enough babysitting money to buy this vase, which was the first piece of pottery I ever bought by myself. And it's by a, a ceramics professor from Bowling Green University, um, Charles Lovkowski. He went on to be pretty well known, but it took me uh, many hours of babysitting to buy this vase. And I've had it all these years. That's 1968 I bought it, right? I've had it ever since then. Um, it's my most precious possession, I think, uh, next to my son. Unusual thing, because I grew up with uh, mid-century modern pottery. Everybody was throwing on a wheel. Your skill on the wheel was what really made you notable. And this piece of pottery is slab built and obviously not wheel thrown. And it really woke me up to what ceramics could be like. So it, like I said, it's one of my most favorite things. Um, and I'm going to share a second thing. This is the most recent thing that I bought. Can you see this okay? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. This is um, a piece of pottery from 1960. It's by Gunnar Nyland, who is a Swedish potter. And it's um, it has a what they call a rabbit hair um, glaze on it. I don't know if you can see it well enough to see how the glaze is, but it's very hard to control it. And usually it's black and splotchy. And on this, it's an otter. On this one, it's perfect. It's just perfect. And I debated for a long time about purchasing it, but then I decided that these are both ends of my pottery collection. These two things, the first one and the most recent. Well, obviously, um you have quite a collection of art too. <laughs> so uh, it's interesting that, you know, you pick the, the first piece being something that you purchased on your own. And then of course, of course a more uh, recent acquisition. Right, I've really gotten interested in the Swedish potters. Um, they uh, are more in the, in the neighborhood of, the, of this. They, they experimented a lot more with surface design and texture. And um, I really like that kind of modernistic um, look of ceramics. I love, I love my dad's work. He, he did really interesting things. He studied in Japan, so his work was influenced by that. But um, I think that um, the surface design is uh, really what catches my mind. So Interesting. Yeah. Well, um, we will include some links, hopefully, to some websites about some of the artists and techniques that you've mentioned below in the description box. But um, if now, do you have your own website, Lori? Uh, no, not really. Oh. Okay. All right. To any of you who don't know, Lori is a very uh, skilled artist in her own way. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> uh, but uh, she doesn't advertise it. <laughs> um, so uh, if you or anyone else you know is interested in participating in our Wonder Room, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to the museum. We would love to hear from you and learn about other objects and their stories. Um, but otherwise, we will catch you next time in the next installment of the Wonder Room.